Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the social icons element and I really like this element. It has more options than some paid versions. So let's search for social icons and here it is. I drag it over here and it comes with three links already. Here you see them. So if I click on Facebook, you can search for the Facebook icon. You can also search for Instagram and then you can change the link over here. So you can go to Instagram to your link, copy it and then paste it over here. And if people click on it, you can decide that they open it in a new window. I suggest you do that. That is better because then people will also stay on your site. Then we have Twitter. You can go to twitter.com forward slash your, your link and then paste that code over here. I do this one for now because I don't have Twitter anymore. Google Plus, same story. So if you want to add something new, you can add a new item and you get a WordPress icon. I want to change it. So how can I do that? I search for Facebook and then I can add my Facebook link over here. So what else? Maybe you want to have YouTube. So you put your YouTube link over here. Click on it. What else? Maybe you're a Twitch player, then you can do Twitch. And what you see, they all have their own style of their icon. You can change the shape to square or make it round. You can align them at the left and at the right. And maybe you want to align them in the middle, but on a tablet. So you click over here. You want them to align them at the left. Update. Let's take a look. So if I would make the screen smaller, then it will go to the left like that. So that's what you can do with Elementor. It's really great. I want to bring it back to the center. And you can also give it your own style. So I go to style. And right now you see the color is official color. I can also change it to a custom color. So maybe I want to have a blue background with a white icon. You can change the icon over here the color of the logo. We can change the size. We can change the padding. And also here you can change it for different devices. We can change the spacing. We can have a border. So if I would say five pixels and the color is blue, it looks like that. And you can decrease it. If you uncheck this, you can say top five, right one, bottom five, white right one. And then you get a style like that. Maybe for Easter, it looks like an egg. Maybe top will be six then. Something like that or bottom four. You can do a lot of things with it. And then we have the border radius. Right now it's a square. You can increase it. And also here you can uncheck it and say, I only want to have a border at the top. So that's what you can do. And when you hover over it right now, nothing happens, but you can change the color like that. The secondary color, the border color. And with a hover, you can make it grow or shrink. So that's what you can do. You can also give the different background using the section settings, a gradient, change the minimum height to 200 or just default and then go to the section settings and say margin 20. 
and I go to the padding 20 update so right now it looks totally different so if I want to duplicate this I go over here I remove the background and I go to the element and I go to style and I say official color and I change this stuff to nothing border none zero and then you have something like that and if you hover over it it looks like that so that is what you can do with the social icons element thank you for watching this video if you have a question please leave a comment if you like the video please like it and if you haven't done so please consider to subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on the notification icon and in that way you'll be notified when i upload a new video have a great day and you will see me the next time Bye-bye.